Hi everyone, this is the last part of curve sketching. In this part, I will introduce the notions of vertical, horizontal and oblique asymptotes. The first type is vertical asymptote. We say the line x equals a is a vertical asymptote of the graph of f if either limit of f of x when x tends to the number a from left or from, le from right is equal to infinity okay if one of these limits is equal to infinity then we say x equals a is a vertical asymptote i want to give a simple example consider the function 1 over x for instance when x tends to 0 from right 1 over x is equal to plus infinity when x tends to the same number from left again 1 over x is equal to in this case infinity but minus infinity so what does it mean it means that x equals 0 is a vertical asymptote of the function 1 over x what is x equals 0 x equals 0 is actually the y-axis okay let's look at the case horizontal asymptote we say the line y equals b is a horizontal asymptote of a function if limit of f is equal to b either when x tends to minus infinity or plus infinity so when x tends to plus or minus infinity if the limit is equal to a number then we say that y equals that number is a horizontal asymptote of the function. Again, consider the function 1 over x. Okay. Limit when x tends to infinity, 1 over x is equal to 0. Okay. And we also know that limit of 1 over x when x tends to minus infinity the answer is still zero right so what does it mean by these two cases y equals zero is a horizontal asymptote of this function okay if you remember the graph of this function what i told you i told you that one of the asymptote is x equals 0 which is y-axis and y equals 0 is x-axis okay so so the graph of 1 over x is this right so these axes are the asymptotes of the function 1 over x let's look at the first example the function is minus 8 over x squared minus 4 let's first look at the point 2 when x tends to 2 from left, for instance, denominator tends to 0, no problem. What about the sign of denominator? The sign of denominator is minus, as you see, when x tends to 2 from left. So the sign of numerator is minus also. Minus over minus is plus. So this is plus infinity. When x tends to 2 again, from right in this case, denominator tends to 0 what about the sign of denominator the sign of denominator is plus minus over plus is minus negative infinity so what does it mean it means x equals 2 is a vertical asymptote is a two-sided vertical asymptote not one side two-sided vertical asymptote let me change the point instead of 2 let's have minus 2 okay let's look at the point minus 2 from left and from right so when x tends to minus 2 instead of plus 2 uh, denominator tends to 0 also no problem but in this case the, the sign of denominator becomes plus so minus over plus becomes minus infinity in the second limit, the denominator tends to 0 also, no problem. 
the sign of uh, denominator is minus in this case so the final answer is plus infinity what does it mean it means that x equals minus 2 is a two-sided vertical asymptote this is done what about horizontal asymptotes when x tends to infinity plus infinity denominator tends to infinity a number over infinity is equal to zero of course uh, and when x tends to minus infinity you still have the same answer the answer is uh, zero this is why y equals zero is a two-sided uh, horizontal asymptote so what's the meaning of y equals zero this is x-axis right so we have three asymptotes two of them are vertical one of them is horizontal asymptote the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis and the other the others are x equals 2 and x equals minus 2 okay so we have three asymptotes let's go back to the function again uh, for the point 0 you have uh, 2 as you see so the function must pass through the point O2 what does it mean this is let's say this is the point O2 okay we will approximately um, have the graph of the function uh, since these three asymptotes are two-sided asymptotes the function will be something like this in this part we only focus on the asymptotes this is why I will not go to the details okay this is all in the second example the function is 3x plus 5 over x plus 2 when x tends to plus or minus infinity the answer of this limit is equal to 3 it means y equals 3 is a horizontal asymptote this is the point 3 so y equals 3 is a horizontal asymptote for this function okay uh, so let me write down here okay let's continue when x tends to look at the denominator of the function the point minus 2 makes the function undefined so when x tends to minus 2 from left denominator tends to 0 okay what about the sign of denominator since we approach from left the sign of denominator becomes minus and the sign of numerator is also minus right so the answer of this limit is plus infinity when x tends to minus 2 from right denominator tends to 0 the sign of denominator is plus the sign of numerator is minus so the answer is minus infinity so what does it mean when you approach to the point minus 2 from left the function tends to infinity when you approach to the point minus not point to the to the line minus 2 the function tends to minus infinity so x equals x equals minus 2 is a vertical asymptote okay and what about the function what do we have uh, when you approach from left to the point minus 2 the function tends to infinity uh, and when you approach from right the function tends to minus infinity this is why you have something like this I will check again look at the first limit again when x tends to plus or minus infinity see when x tends to plus or minus infinity the function tends to 3 the function tends to the point 3 right 
so this is right the other case when x tends to minus 2 when x tends to minus 2 when x tends to this line from right function goes to minus infinity when x tends to minus 2 from left function tends to plus infinity third kind of asymptote is called oblique or slant or slanted asymptotes if the degree of numerator of a rational function is one greater than the degree of denominator in this case the graph has an oblique or slanted asymptote let's have a rational function let's say f of x is equal to p of x over q of x if you have this kind of functions then you do the polynomial division and write the function as linear part plus remainder when x tends to infinity this part tends to zero and the function tends to the linear part and the linear part let's say h of x y equals h of x is called the oblique asymptote of the function let's try to understand this idea by an example the function is x squared minus 3 divided by 2x minus 4 and we have to do the polynomial division x squared minus 3 divided by 2x minus 4 so we have to write x over 2 here and if you do the computation you write x squared minus 2x okay then since this is subtraction you, ha you have minus here plus here you cancel these two terms finally you have 2x minus 4 minus 3 this is why you multiply by plus 1 and you have 2x minus 4 right you change the sign plus minus minus plus you cancel these two terms and then you have one here right so i think you have this information from high school using this polynomial division is possible to write the given function as x over 2 plus 1 plus plus the other part 1 over 2x minus 4 so when we talk about oblique asymptotes this part is called the remainder of the function and when x tends to infinity this part tends to 0 this is the linear part of the function and y equals uh, x over 2 plus 1 is called the oblique asymptote of the function okay so how do you draw x over 2 plus 1 let me write down here x over 2 plus 1 when x is 0 y is when x is 0 y is 1 right when y is 0 in this case x is equal to minus 2 so the line x over 2 plus 1 passes through the points O1 and minus 2 O. The points O1 and minus 2 O are given here. This is minus 2 O. This is O1. So the line x over 2 plus 1 passes through these two points. So this is the oblique asymptote of the function. If you look at the denominator of the function, you see that the point 2 makes denominator undefined. So when x tends to the point 2 from left and from right, we have to examine the limit of the function. When x tends to the point 2 from left, denominator tends to 0. And the sign of denominator, you approach from left, the sign of denominator is minus the sign of numerator since we approach from left this is plus so the answer is minus infinity 
when you approach to the point 2 from right in this case the sign of denominator is plus the sign of numerator is also plus so the final answer is plus infinity so what does it mean it means that x equals uh, 2 is a vertical x equals 2 is a vertical asymptote of the function so this is x equals 2 okay so what about the function when since when x uh, tends to infinity the function tends to the oblique asymptote uh, so you have something like this in this part I will go to details when we talk about curve sketching in the next uh, lectures videos so the other part of the graph is here